this video is specifically because I got quite a few big box PC games. I'm going to go through this box first. This is the one from eBay. And then I'll show you what's in the big box. Let's get started. This was a bit of an impulse buy. Very well packaged. Yeah. Messiah from Shiny Entertainment, the guys that did the MDK. Not bad. Not bad for 10 bucks. Nice gatefold, pretty good condition. Alright, so this one, the big box, this is gonna have a couple of racing games in here. This was being sold on Gumtree by a lady who lives out in Western Sydney. I was interested in the game, it's a good price, 15 bucks for the lot. Australia Post has delivered very fast. Next day delivery, I'm just gonna make sure I don't cut my fingers. <laughs> wow. Actually packed full of her shredded letters or something. If you get to the bottom. Okay, this aside. So the first double pack, still sealed, which is good. So we've got Test Drive 4 and Power F1. Never heard of Power F1 actually. You can see the shrink wrap starting to warp the box a little bit there. So yeah, pretty happy with that. Look at this, this is what I was pretty excited about. The Police Quest Collection. So it's going to have all four of the Police Quest games in the back. The box is in really nice condition. My Sierra box. Pretty heavy as well. Instruction manual is pretty hefty. Got the games in there. That's really awesome. And then I've got a couple of loose CDs. Usually with dual cases, I'm like, ah, I don't mind having them. I play the games off the original media. Prefer them if they have big boxes, but for these two though, I was pretty, pretty excited. Nice elastic bands to keep them together. Because it's Final Fantasy VII, which I never played on the PC version. And also Blade Runner, which I've been looking for for a while. In the big, in the big box, it can tend to go for about 50 bucks here in Australia. So having Blade Runner on the, on the CDs at least so I can play it, it's pretty good. Well, that's pretty cool too. So that was one Gumtree ad that I picked up some games. Now you've probably seen that there's a lot of other big boxes here. So this came from my second Gumtree pickup of the week. And this is by far my favourite because for $30 this really nice bloke gave me pretty much all his old PC games that have just been languishing at his parents' house. A lot of the boxes, apart from one, which I'll show you later, easy and pretty much immaculate condition. They're even dusty still from where they've just been on the shelf. About 10 box games, and then he gave me a bunch of jewel cases as well. So quickly, uh, Return to Zork. I've never played this game, um, always wanted to. This is uh, in a really nice condition. So I'm looking forward to trying that one out. Privateer, original box. Um, Three and a half floppy disks in here. Not sure if they'll still work. It's quite cool to go through the leaflets and things that are um, advertising the origin games from back then. Civic Strike. This one looks like um, he's also got the um, add-on desks, I think, feels like. Oh, these are the speed packs, actually. There's a lot of floppy disks in here. <laughs> I don't think they'll all work, so and a lot of manuals. Yeah, that's a really nice, really nice one. Star Trek Judgment Rights, point and click. Looking forward to trying that one out. Earth Siege by Dynamics. Really love these old stickers. Runs better on a Pentium. Overlord. Don't know too much about this one. Looks like it's a Rowan game, so I guess it must have come out at the same time as Dawn Patrol or maybe before. It's quite cool. Sub War 2050. Don't know too much about this one. Don't know too much. FIFA Soccer. I remember getting this for my birthday for the Super Nintendo and that was my favourite football game. Actually my first football game that I really enjoyed actually was FIFA um, before I moved on to Pro Evo. I do remember looking at the animations at the time and thinking wow that game looks beautiful. David Platt on the front as well. Free Space Battle Pack. So this is really cool. He also gave me Free Space 2 on a DVD case. I actually have Free Space 2 in the big box, which I used to have. I never actually had the original Free Space. I'd be quite interested to try this one out. The box is a little bit squashed. But, um, yeah, this one's really cool. And then 
There is this oddity, which for what I think it is, it's the original two XCOM games. But what he must have done himself was cut them in half and then stuck the two together. It's got the game discs uh, separately in little bags. So I think he must have done it to save space. But it's a bit of a shame because that box would have been really cool. He also gave me some jewel cases. So he didn't have the original boxes for these. This one in particular I really want to try is Slipstream 5000. I remember reading about this at the time and it didn't really work on my 486. I mean, it was supposed to be a fantastic race or something I'm looking forward to trying that one out. Dark Forces on CD which is pretty cool. Um, I do have a copy of it but it's I wish I had the big box, but still it's cool to have the CD. High Fighter Collector's Edition, that's good. Total Annihilation, which I already have the big box of, but also uh, expansion pack, Battle Tactics. Budget Jewel Case of Diablo, Duke Nukem 3D, probably my fourth copy on disc, I think. FIFA 2001. And interestingly, this um, EA compilation, which looks like it was given away free with a Creative Labs, um, either a sound card or something. There's some really cool games on here actually. You've got Jaeger's Air Combat and Space Hulk. You've got a Wing Commander Academy, uh, Savage Empire, Ultima Underworld, Ultima 7, The Black Gate. Um, so there's a few good ones actually on this little little disc. So I'm actually quite interested to interested to try this one out. He also gave me a bunch of loose um, software manuals. He's given me some books. He also gave me a whole bag full of um, pirated dual case games, but um, fortunately with my Pentium 3, CD-ROM drives just don't read copied discs, so um, for me I can't use any of those, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this big bag. It's currently stuck at my desk, under my desk at work. Yeah, I'll probably end up throwing them away. So there's 15 big boxes a bunch of jewel cases. Yeah, pretty amazing really. Quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of big box PC games this week, so which I'm pretty happy with. All nice to add to the collection. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this pickups video. If you've got any memories of any of these games, um, please tell me in the comments. I'd love to talk about it. I'll be installing some of these at some point on my PCs and giving them a play through. If you like the content, give it a like or consider subscribing. Get in contact. Love to talk to you. Alright, see you around. Bye.